Khalid Muhammad Khalid, born November 26, 1975, known professionally as DJ Khalid, is an American DJ, record producer, and record executive. Originally a Miami-based radio hype man, Khalid has become known for his extensive curation of high-profile music industry artists and producers to record singles or albums. His distinctions are his booming voice presence, motivational abstractions, and numerous catchphrases. While his musical contribution is often questioned, Khalid's role has been described as organization, direction, and promotion. Khalid was born in New Orleans to Palestinian immigrant parents. He first gained recognition as a radio host in the 1990s for the radio station 99 Jams and translated his popularity by working with Fat Joe's Hip Hop Collective Terror Squad as a DJ for their live performances. After gaining production credits on the group's material, Khalid independently released his debut album, Listen, the Album, in 2006. His second album, We the Best, 2007, spawned the hit single I'm So Hood, featuring T-Pain, Trick Daddy, Rick Ross, and Plies. His two subsequent releases We Global, 2008, and Victory, 2010, both peaked within the top 10 of the Billboard 200, the latter was supported by the triple platinum, certified single All I Do Is Win, featuring T-Pain, Ludacris, Snoop Dogg, and Rick Ross. His fifth studio album and major label debut, We The Best Forever, 2011, saw continued commercial success and helped bring Khalid to mainstream prominence as it was supported by his first Billboard Hot 100 Top 10 single, I'm On One, featuring Drake, Rick Ross, and Lil Wayne. His following three albums Kiss the Ring, 2012, Suffering from Success, 2013, and I Changed a Lot, 2015, were released to moderate critical and commercial reception. Throughout 2015 and 2016, Khalid gained wider recognition as a public figure and internet meme due to his activity on social media. This foresaw the release of his ninth studio album, Major Key, 2016, which was met with further critical and commercial success as it debuted atop the Billboard 200 and yielded his first Grammy Award nomination for Best Rap Album. His tenth album, Grateful, 2017, became his second consecutive number one album and was preceded by the singles I'm the One, featuring Justin Bieber, Quavo, Chance the Rapper and Lil Wayne, and Wild Thoughts, featuring Rihanna and Bryson Tiller, which peaked at numbers one and two on the Billboard Hot 100, respectively. His eleventh album, Father of Assad, 2019, contained the song Higher, featuring Nipsey Hussle and John Legend, which won Best Rap Slash Sun Performance at the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards and was Khaled's first Grammy Award win. His eponymous twelfth album, 2021, also peaked atop the Billboard 200, along with his thirteenth album, God Did, 2022, which was released the following year. The latter's title track, featuring Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, John Legend and Friday, earned three nominations at the 65th Annual Grammy Awards, Song of the Year, Best Rap Song and Best Rap Performance. Outside of music, Khaled has gained success as a writer, with his book The Keys featuring on the New York Times bestseller list. He has also performed as an actor for the film Spies in Disguise, 2019, and Bad Boys for Life, 2020. His record label, We The Best Music Group, has distributed his releases since its formation in 2008, while has also Khaled signed other artists to the imprint including Ace Hood, Kent Jones, Movado, Flip De Nero, and Vado, among others. Personal Life Khaled and his wife Nicole Tuck have a son, Asad Tuck Khaled, born on October 23, 2016. Khalid garnered national attention after streaming the birth live on his Snapchat account. On January 20, 2020, Tuck gave birth to their second son, Alam Tuck Khalid. In January 2017, Khalid purchased Robbie Williams's former house in Mulholland Estates, a gated community in Los Angeles, California. In 2018, Khalid purchased a waterfront home in Miami for $25.90 million. The mansion is larger than 12,000 square feet and has been dubbed as the resort by Khalid. Khalid owns several cars, including a Maybach, which is one of 150 special edition models custom designed by the Virgil Abloh. Khalid has named this vehicle the Cappuccino. Khalid has described himself as a devout Muslim. Early Life Khalid Muhammad Khalid was born on November 26, 1975, in New Orleans, Louisiana, to Palestinian parents who immigrated to the United States. His father was from Masare Asharkia, and his mother from Ramallah. His brother Alec Led, Allah Khalid, is an actor. 
His musician parents played Arabic music, Khalid started developing an interest in rap and soul music at a young age, and his parents supported his interest. He worked in a local merry-go-round record store, which helped to lay the foundation for his music career. Career During his early career, Khalid became acquainted with several young artists and helped them before their breakthrough, these include Birdman, Lil Wayne, and Movado. One of his first jobs was at the New Orleans record store Odyssey where he met both Birdman and Lil Wayne in 1993. After leaving Odyssey, he began DJing in reggae sound clashes, mixing dancehall and hip-hop. His first radio gig was on a pirate station. In 1998, he moved to Miami and co-hosted The Luke Show on WEDR 99 Jams with two live crews Luther Campbell. In 2003, he started hosting a weeknight radio show on 99 Jams called The Takeover. During his career, Khaled has used many monikers, including Arab Attack, Big Dog Pitbull, Terror Squadian, used during his time with the hip-hop group Terror Squad, Beat Novocaine, a moniker under which he produces beats, The Don Dada, Mr. Miami, etc. Khaled has stated that he used the moniker Arab Attack for music as in saying attack with music, but it was soon discontinued by him after the September 11 attacks, since he felt that using it would seem disrespectful and offensive towards those who suffered due to the attacks. 2006 to 2008, listen, the album, We the Best, and We Global. On June 6, 2006, his debut album, Listen, the album, was released by Coke Records. It premiered on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart at number 12. Do We the Best, 2007, is his second album, with singles I'm So Hood, with T Pain, Trick Daddy, Plies, and Rick Ross, and We Tucking Over, with Akon, T, Rick Ross, Fat Joe, Birdman, and Lil Wayne. We Talking Over peaked at number 28 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and number 11 on the U.S. Hot Rap Tracks chart and was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America on November 20, 2007. Khalid made a guest appearance on Birdman's 2007 album 5 Asterisk Stunna on the single 100 Million, which also features Rick Ross, Dre, Young Jeezy and Lil Wayne. That year, Khalid won two Ozone Awards, one for Best Video, We Talking Over, and another for Best Radio DJ. In 2008, Khalid's third album We Global came out with singles Out Here Grindin', with Akon, Rick Ross, Lil Boozy, Trick Daddy, Ace Hood, and Plies, followed by Go Hard, featuring Kanye West and T-Pain. RIA certified the single I'm So Hood Platinum on June 4, 2008 that year, Khalid won DJ of the Year Awards from the BT Hip Hop Awards and Ozone Awards. He was appointed the president of Def Jam South in February 2009. That same month, 50 Cent released a video titled A Psychic Told Me in which he spoke of harming Khalid's mother and showed alleged footage of Khalid's mother's workplace and his mother herself. Following this, Khalid refused to comment, not wanting to give 50 Cent the publicity, simply stating, I'm not gonna let him bait me. 2010-2012, Victory, We the Best Forever, and Kiss the Ring. DJ Khalid in 2011. His fourth studio album Victory was released on March 2, 2010. The album featured guest appearances from Drake, Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, Nas, Snoop Dogg, Ludacris, Nelly, and more. The single All I Do Is Win featuring Ludacris, Rick Ross, Snoop Dogg, and T-Pain was certified as a double platinum single. Other singles include Put Your Hands Up featuring Ross, Young Jeezy, Plies, and Shaif, and Fed Up featuring Usher, Drake, Ross, and Jeezy. The album had low sales and debuted at number 12 on the Billboard 200. DJ Khaled announced the title his next album, We The Best Forever, on Twitter. On August 19, Khaled signed to Cash Money Records along to Universal Motown. The album will be released under the label, also under E1 Entertainment, Terror Squad, Def Jam South, and Khaled's own label, We The Best Music Group, with confirmed guests as Fat Joe, Chris Brown, Keisha Cole, CeeLo Green, Cool and Dre, Rick Ross, Kanye West, Jizzy, Nas, Birdman, Lil Wayne, T.I., Akon, Drake, and Nicki Minaj. The first single, Welcome to My Hood, featuring Rick Ross, Plies, Lil Wayne and T-Pain was released on January 13, 2011. It was produced by The Renegades and co-produced by DJ Khaled himself along with the Nasty Beatmakers. 
The song was his first release under Cash Money Records and Universal Motown Records. A music video was filmed in Miami, Florida, and directed by Gil Green, featuring cameos by Flo Rida, Bow Wow, Busta Rhymes, and other artists. The next single, I'm On One, featuring Drake, Rick Ross, and Lil Wayne, was released on May 20, 2011. Khalid performed the song at BT Awards 2011, which aired on June 26, 2011. On December 10, 2011, DJ Khalid announced the title of his next album, Kiss the Ring, in an online video, with the release date as coming soon in 2012. Guests on the album include T Pain, French Montana, Future, Wiz Khalifa, Nas, Plies, Ace Hood, Kanye West, Rick Ross, Meek Mill, Big Sean, Two Chains, Jada Kiss, Kirko Bangs, Mac Main, Tyga, T.I., J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Big Crit, Mavado, and Whale. Khalid mentioned that he had a verse from someone very special, which was later revealed as Scarface. The first single released was Take It to the Head, featuring Chris Brown, Rick Ross, Nicki Minaj, and Lil Wayne. The second single was I Wish You Would, featuring Kanye West and Rick Ross. Kiss the Ring was released on August 21, 2012 and debuted at number 4 on the Billboard 200. The third single was Bitches in Bottles featuring T.I., Lil Wayne, and Future. In 2012, Khaled and other producers, including No ID, worked with Kanye West on his sixth studio album Yeezus, although Khaled's contributions were ultimately omitted from the album. 2013-2015, Suffering from Success and I Changed a Lot in January 2013, Khalid announced that he began work on his seventh album, Suffering from Success. After attending a doctor due to a bald spot on his beard, Khalid was told that he was suffering from success, which inspired the album's title. The first single from the album, No New Friends, features Drake, Lil Wayne and Rick Ross, and was produced by Canadian producers Boy Wanda and Noah Forty Shibib. On April 14, 2013, Khalid released a promotional video for Suffering for Success, and the music video for the aforementioned single. The single was premiered the following day and released to iTunes of April 19, 2013. No New Friends has since debuted at number 55 on the Billboard Hot 100. On June 10, 2013, it was announced that Suffering from Success would be released on September 24, 2013. On July 25, 2013, Khalid publicly proposed to fellow cash money artist Nicki Minaj via MTV. He supported his offer with a 10-carat diamond ring from Raffello and Company, valued at about $500,000. Later, he reaffirmed his proposal in an interview with Power 100 and SIXS DJ Felly Fell, stating, I ain't a young boy no more. I'm on my thinking the future. I just had to be honest. I always liked her. She's my friend, of course. And I like her. It's more than a crush. On July 29, 2013, in an interview with Funkmaster Flex, Minaj denied Khalid's proposal, saying, Khalid is my brother and Khalid was not serious with that damn proposal, y'all. Please let it go. He was kidding. The same day, Flex premiered Khalid's new single, I Wanna Be With You, which featured Minaj, as well as frequent collaborators Future and Rick Ross. This leads some to believe that his proposal was a publicity stunt to promote his new single. On April 28, 2014, DJ Khaled announced in an interview with MTV that Jay-Z would be featured on his new single. The interview was noted due to Khaled cursing, gesturing, and tossing the microphone to the floor in an effort to convey the importance and impact of the music he is coming this summer. A few hours after that, he released the single called They Don't Love You No More, also featuring frequent collaborators Rick Ross, Meek Mill, and French Montana. The song will be on his eighth studio album, I Changed a Lot, which was released in 2015. The following day, They Don't Love You No More was serviced to mainstream urban radio in the United States. On July 1, 2014, Khaled announced that he has partnered with Danish audio company Bang & Olufsen to launch his own brand of headphones, titled We The Best Sound. The brand is advertised in the video They Don't Love You No More. On August 8, 2014, Khalid released the official artwork for the second single from I Changed a Lot entitled Hold You Down, which features Chris Brown, August Alsina, Future and Jeremiah, and is produced by Korn, Leon the Beats and LDB. The single was released on August 11, 2014, along with a music video, directed by Gil Green. On November 3, 2014, Khalid released the remix to Hold You Down featuring Usher, Rick Ross, Fabulous, and Ace Hood. 
On May 11, 2015, DJ Khaled revealed that he had amicably parted ways with Cash Money Records. I'm not signed to Cash Money at all. I've been off for a minute, Khaled revealed. It's not that I'm here to promote that I've been off. That's family. But, nah, it's just we the best. Nothing negative, everything's beautiful. On the same day, DJ Khaled released the third single off the album I Changed a Lot titled How Many Times, featuring Chris Brown, Lil Wayne and Big Sean produced Korn, Lee on the Beats and OZ. DJ Khaled revealed that his long-delayed album, I Changed a Lot, released on October 23, 2015, and also revealed the album's artwork. 2016-2019, Major Key, Grateful and Father of Assad. DJ Khaled performing in 2018. On February 5, 2016, DJ Khaled premiered the debut his new We The Best radio show on Beats 1 with the premiere of Future's fourth studio album EVOL. On February 14, 2016, DJ Khaled announced that he would debut French Montana's new mixtape on We The Best Radio. The Wave God's titled mixtape premiered on February 19, 2016. On February 29, 2016, Khaled signed a management only deal with Jay Z's company, Rock Nation, and announced his ninth studio album, Major Key, was going to be released in 2016. Specifically on July 29th, and has a lion on the cover. On June 3rd, 2016, Khaled released the first single off Major Key, For Free, which was produced by the OVO team of 1985 and Jordan Almond. He announced his album would feature Jay Z, Future, Kanye West, Big Sean, Lil Wayne, and Rick Ross. He later released a track called I Got the Keys with Jay Z and Future. That premiered after the 2016 BT Awards to Diane late 2015 to early 2016, a number of Snapchat videos of Khaled's detailing his key to success received significant attention on the internet due to his larger-than-life persona. This newfound online recognition caused him to gain popularity, becoming an internet phenomenon, with some now describing him as a living meme or meme in human form. In October 2016, he appeared in advertising for the alcoholic beverage Ciroc Mango and starred in Let's Get It, Khaled's Odyssey, an episode of Let's Get It. On December 24, 2016, Khaled announced on Twitter that he was working on his 10th studio album to I in January 2017. He was seen in the studio on his Snapchat with potential collaborators, such as Chance the Rapper, Justin Bieber, Migos, and Mariah Carey. On February 9, DJ Khaled announced his 10th studio album would be titled Grateful and said that it was going to be released in June. On February 12, DJ Khaled released Shining, the lead single of Grateful, which features Beyonce and Jay Z. He had a cameo appearance in promotional material for Spider-Man, Homecoming, and later appeared as a fictionalized version of himself in Pitch Perfect 3, 2017, in which his character is featured as both a performer and a major plot point. Also that year, he announced he would join Demi Lovato as the opening act for their Tell Me You Love Me tour. On March 1, 2018, Khaled announced his 11th studio album would be titled Father of Assad, titled after his older son Assad. The album's lead single, Top Off, featuring Beyoncé, Jay-Z and Future, was released the following day, on March 2. On July 23, Khaled announced the next single, titled No Brainer, featuring Justin Bieber, Chance the Rapper and Quavo, which was released on July 27. On March 5, 2019, Khaled announced that the album would be released in May 2019. It was released on May 17, 2019. He released several music videos for the album singles on that day through May 20, including One for Hire, featuring late rapper Nipsey Hussle and John Legend, a track which also garnered Khaled his first Grammy Award. 2020 Present, Khaled Khaled and God Did On July 17, 2020, Khaled released two singles simultaneously, titled Popstar and Grease, both featuring Canadian rapper Drake. Two days prior, on July 15, Khaled announced his 12th studio album would be titled Khaled Khaled, after his legal name. The announcement was accompanied with a video trailer documenting his life and career, including the birth of his sons Assad and Alam, who both would executive produce the album, and winning his first Grammy Award in March 2021, Khaled collaborated with Dolce & Gabbana on a collection of ready-to-wear and beachwear pieces. On April 30, 2021, Khaled released his 12th studio album, Khaled Khaled. The title of the album is taken from Khaled's real name, Khaled Khaled. Allah is, as well as Khaled's two sons, credited as an executive producer due to the Khaled family's religious beliefs and spirituality in Islam.
the album included 14 tracks and song features with the likes of Nas, Beyonce and Jeremy. Point two days after the release of the album, Khalid revealed an updated track listing that added the track Big Paper, which features American rapper Cardi B, which was not on the previous track listing. On July 6, 2022, he announced the title of his upcoming 13th studio album, God Did, and released the album on August 26, 2022. Artist Relationships Rick Ross Rick Ross has been described as one of Khaled's longest-running collaborators, with reference to Khaled, Ross has stated, he knows what's going to get me excited. He'll run in the room yelling, I got some shit, Rosie. And nine times out of ten, when he's that excited, it's something that's going to end up feeling good. That's always been the dynamic, since I'm so hood, and the list goes on. On their relationship, Khaled states, Ross is my brother, he said. That's day one. That's family. Me and him come from the bottom, the mud, to marble floors. When he's shouting me out on that record, that's what you call a real friend, family. He loves me and I love him back. Me and him are forever. Music or no music. It's Khaled and Ross forever. In 2006, Khaled produced the song M.A.G., featuring Lil Wayne and Briscoe, on Ross's debut, Port of Miami. The same year, Ross made guest performances on two singles from Khaled's debut Listen, the album, Born and Raised, and Holla at Me. In 2007, Ross featured on the hit single I'm So Hood as part of Khaled's second album, We the Best. Ross also contributed vocals to We Talking Over, a song on the same album, which peaked at number 28 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and number 11 on the U.S. Hot Rap Tracks chart and was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America on November 20, 2007. The same year, both Ross and Khaled made a guest appearance on the single 100 Million as part of Birdman's 2007 album 5 Asterisk Stunna. In 2008, Ross featured on the single Out Here Grindin' as part of Khaled's third album, We Global. In 2010, Ross featured on the hit single All I Do Is Win, part of Khaled's fourth album Victory. The track became triple platinum certified. In 2011, Ross featured on what became a Billboard Hot 100 Top 10 single, I'm On One, as part of Khaled's fifth studio album, We The Best Forever. Ross also featured on the song Welcome to My Hood in the same album. In 2012, Ross featured on two singles from Khaled's sixth album, Kiss the Ring, Take It to the Head and I Wish You Would Dud. In early 2013, Ross featured on the single No New Friends as part of Khaled's seventh album, Suffering from Success. On May 16, 2013, Birdman and Ross announced that their collaborative album The H would be released as a mixtape hosted by Khaled on 23 May 2013. In April 2014, Ross featured on the song They Don't Love You No More, the first single from Khaled's eighth studio album I Changed a Lot. In August 2014, both Khaled and Ross featured on Don't Shoot, a single by American rapper The Game. In November 2014, Ross also featured on the remix To Hold You Down. In 2016, Ross featured on two songs from Khaled's ninth studio album, Major Key, the single Do You Mind, and the track Fuck Up the Club. In 2017, Ross featured on three tracks from Khaled's tenth studio album, Grateful, On Everything, Down for Life, and Whatever. In 2019, Ross featured on one track from Khaled's eleventh studio album, Father of Assad, Big Boy Talk. In 2021, Ross featured on one song from Khaled's 12th studio album, Khaled Khaled, This Is My Year. In 2022, Ross rapped the first verse of the title track of Khaled's 13th album, God Did. The song earned three nominations at the 65th Annual Grammy Awards, Song of the Year, Best Rap Song and Best Rap Performance. The same year, Ross and Khaled both featured on the GQ Hype Debate Show, debating the greatest snack of all time. Ross was a proponent of his own rap snacks, whereas Khaled endorsed Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Drake The relationship between Drake and Khaled has been described as uniquely fruitful. Lil Wayne Lil Wayne has stated, DJ Khaled is one of one. He's produced so many memorable tracks. There's no one like him. Future Public figure Jeff Ahaza of the Rolling Stone has described Khaled thus, Khaled wears a pristinely lined haircut. His beard follows sharp angles that enforce a perfect symmetry along his face. 
When he's trying to muster up the right word, either for clarity or comedic timing, his eyes carry a piercing seriousness, like an athlete laser-focused on a play. But he's largely instinctive in his delivery, in plucking whatever he's trying to convey from his brain and placing it into yours. He has also been described as a natural in front of the camera. Khaled is known for his social media presence. He states, I don't do too many interviews. Cause I've got my own interview. I say what I want to say anytime I want. Other Ventures Film Khaled provided a voice in the animated film Spies in Disguise, which was released on December 25, 2019 that he also appeared in Bad Boys for Life and Bad Boys, Ride or Die. Literature In 2016, he wrote a book, The Keys, a memoir, which includes his opinions on success, recounts life stories, and describes contributions from other musicians. The book became a New York Times bestseller. Furniture Inspired by his own home and lifestyle, he designed a new luxury furniture line with the best home and launched it in August 2018. Golfing Khaled is known for his love of golf, paired with his catchphrase, let's go golfing. He has appeared on the cover of Golf Digest and is a frequenter of the Miami Beach Golf Club. Khaled's with the Best Foundation hosted its inaugural golf tournament in 2023, raising thousands for organizations which aid youth in Miami. Sean Combs alone reportedly donated $150,000 to the cause. 2018 SEC Settlement In November 2018, together with Floyd Mayweather Jr., Khaled agreed to a total settlement of $750,000 with the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, for failing to disclose payments accepted from issuers of an initial coin offering, specifying a personal $50,000 promotional payment from beleaguered cryptocurrency firm Centra Tech Inc., whose co-founders were indicted for fraud in May 2018. According to the SEC, they are its first cases involving charges for violating rules on touting investments in so-called initial coin offerings, or ICOs. As part of the settlement, Khaled agreed to not enter any endorsement or promotional agreement with a securities participant for two years.